Welcome to Buzz Around the Globe. Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko has been taken to hospital in Moscow and is in critical condition after meeting Russian Premier Vladimir Putin, according to reports in many news outlets. Citing unconfirmed reports, on May 27, Lukashenko's opponent Valery Sepkalo tweeted to say the 68-year-old Belarusian president was urgently transported to Moscow's Central Clinical Hospital after his closed-door meeting with Putin. In his latest tweet he claimed that the Kremlin has initiated cover-up operation through spreading information about a scheduled medical examination of Lukashenko. He tweeted to say on May 9, when the first signs of illness emerged, he hastily flew to Minsk because he did not trust any surgical intervention in Moscow. According to reliable information, this time, after the emergency hospitalization, doctors warned him that he simply wouldn't be able to make it alive if he would fly by an airplane. It's evident that the Kremlin fears speculation regarding its involvement in his deteriorating health. The best doctors from across Moscow were gathered, and they were bluntly told by the special services, if he dies, we all go down with him. Sepp Carlo is a former candidate for the presidency of Belarus and former ambassador to the United States. Alexander Lukashenko had earlier skipped festivities celebrating the ex-Soviet country's state symbols following reports focusing on his health. The 68-year-old leader was not been seen in public for many days after he traveled to Moscow to take part in festivities to celebrate the anniversary of the Soviet victory over Nazi Germany in 1945. Many journalists noted that Lukashenko looked tired in Moscow and skipped a lunch hosted by Russian President Vladimir Putin and attended by the leaders of Armenia and Central Asian countries. The Belarusian government has remained tight-lipped amid speculation and is yet to release a statement on the nature of his illness. This has further stoked conspiracy theories that Lukashenko could have been poisoned by Russian secret services. Lukashenko has been in power in Belarus since 1994. He won a sixth term in a 2020 election that looked so rigged that hundreds of thousands took to the streets to protest. With Putin's help, Lukashenko crushed the historic protest movement, jailing or pushing into exile all key opposition figures. This comes as Lukashenko confirmed last week that Russia had begun moving tactical nuclear warheads for storage to Belarus. This marked the first deployment of such weapons outside its borders since the 1991 fall of the Soviet Union. Belarus is heading towards uncertainty and the political cauldron is beginning to simmer. This can be a huge headache for Russia which is caught up in its war against Ukraine.